Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is time for the Business Bully Podcast. I am Dave Anderson. Uh, it is the 21st of August. Thanks so much for being here and checking me out. Um, broadcasting live on uh, Facebook and Periscope right now. Um, shout out to everybody who's here. Uh, shout out to Deborah. Thanks so much for being here. Make sure you share the video. Um, my whole thing is I want to get right into it because there's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, first and foremost, um, I want to give a big shout out to one of the greatest influences of my life. The reason that I tell my truth, the reason that um, I retired from radio, um, Dick Gregory was an amazing, amazing influence um, on my life. And I want to, you know, give that man a serious rest in peace shout out because yeah, he was extremely amazing and he did not uh, shy away from anything or anybody and he didn't care who liked it. Um, so if you haven't uh, shared the Business Bully podcast right now, I'm going to need you to do that. But before I even get real, real deep, I need to give a shout out to my sponsors because um, I got to pay these tuitions. So shout out to the sponsors uh, today, My Beautiful Fluff. If you go to mybeautifulfluff.com and put in BB20 at checkout, that's right, BB20 at checkout, you will get 20% off everything that you order. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I have no issues. As a matter of fact, I love uh, the full figure women, especially when they stylish and they're looking good. But y'all run around here in some damn moo-moos and y'all need to stop with the moo-moos and going over there to some My Beautiful Fluff. Embrace your body. I'm sick of these people body shaming um, big people because I'm sick of it. I'm a big person. Y'all damn sure ain't going to body shame me in, in person. I'm going to tell y'all that right here, right to hell now. You know, good and hell well, that's not happening. So go over to MyBeautifulFluff.com, put in the code BB20, which stands for Business Bully, 20% off, and you will get um, some hookups. So share that code today. Now, let's get back into the situation. People, we need to talk. We need to have a serious conversation. All right. Um, the eclipse is happening today. Um, this solar eclipse, um, I think, happened last time, in like 1965 or something dumb like that. I always get it confused. But anyway, and anyhow, you slice it. Um, everybody's so concerned about the eclipse. Oh, I want to have my glasses on. Some dumb, you know, uh, knuckle dragging mouth breather said, Yeah, well, you know, I'm going to look up at the sun so I can collect a social security disability check. And I'm like, Are you stupid or are you just high? Or are you just both? Or, or, or are you on drugs? Um, shout out to I am Louise Bates. Good morning. How are you? Uh, must be morning where you are. It is afternoon where I am. So thanks so much for being here. Uh, make sure you share out the, uh, the broadcast. Um, I'm going to need y'all to really get it together. Because what I'm seeing is there's a whole lot of people who love and embrace the side hustle, but have yet to embrace their talents and their gifts and finding ways to monetize them. What's up, Brenda? Have you ever cut your poop in half and smelled the Reese's Cups fumes only from your mama's cooch? Block. See, that's what winds up happening when you try to come up in here and be funny. Somebody just put that up there. So um, shout out to Pecans or Life. He just he just got his he just got that block work. In case y'all ain't know, I am the block captain. So if you come up on my live broadcast talking that shit, you will get blocked real quick. And that's how that goes. What's up to uh, DJ Phil? What's up, DJ Phil? I ain't seen DJ Phil in a minute. Um, y'all are looking for shortcuts to things that aren't shortcuttable. Um, and I know short cuttable is not a word, but this is my show, damn it. So it is what it is. Yo, shout out to somebody sent me the eclipse moves. Those are dope. Like, that's crazy. Um, if you have not shared this, share this. Listen to me. You will not get where you need to be by trying to shortchange yourself. Y you won't. And you also won't get to where you need to be um, in any reasonable amount of time by um, trying to figure it out on your own. Y you're not. You're going to need some type of coaching. I got coaching. I still get coaching. Um, why? Because coaching helps. You know what I mean? If you don't think coaching is important, ask Michael Jordan what happened before Phil Jackson. I'll tell you, nothing. Nothing happened before Phil. Nothing worth talking about, you know? So if the players were all the same, what was the difference? It was the coach, and we need to stop acting like coaches aren't important. Now, I will spot you the fact that there's a bunch of whack-ass cornball, fly-by-night, um, Rice crispy Treat getting certificate ass having coaches that ain't worth the paper they're printed on. I will be the first to tell you that. But we ain't talking about them. We talking about coaches with receipts and proven results. And that's all that matters in the grand scheme of things. Receipts and proven results. So if you've got receipts and proven results, you need to go ahead and make sure you get with that coach. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's Donya Winningham. I don't care if it's Alto V. Pelzer. I don't care who you get to coach you. But you're going to need a coach, because there's nothing worse than watching somebody uh, flail around on the internet, not getting anything done. They just look ridiculous. They doggy paddling in the sea of tranquility, trying to get to the next level, and they can't. Um, I don't know if y'all know this or not, 
Um, let me see. Hold on. Ganara Gubadin Lina. Uh, I just butchered your name. Golnara Gabdulina. Uh, first day on Periscope. Thanks for being here. Um, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but um, there were a bunch of people who went up on the Howard University campus with Make America Great Again hats trying to um, rabble rouse the uh, young black uh, college students. And people are shocked that this happened. And I'm like, from a business perspective, how can you be shocked? Sometimes people do things so that they can get in the news cycle. Sometimes people do things in what I like to call a controlled environment. If you're going to a college campus, you automatically know that those people ain't there to scrap. They're there to learn. So you're probably going to walk out of there safe, not to mention you unscathed, not to mention it's Washington, D.C. So you got the FBI, the CIA, um, all different types of local uh, law enforcement. You got the Howard University police. They ain't going to let it get but so out of control. And so sometimes when you look at these things, you got to say, hmm, why are they really doing this? And it's always to upset. It's always to upset the money, you know, and because people get really, really sensitive about um, things right now. And they're trying to catch somebody off guard because somebody is trying to get caught outside. How about that? So we got to be real careful in how we respond to stupidity. We got to keep our eye on the ball. Because what's really happening is a lot of people out here um, who are not getting um, the money they need to get to or getting the results they're looking to have because they're not um, focused on the right things. They're being focused on stupidity. It don't make no sense um, why that's happening. And I don't understand it um, for the life of me. I don't like the look of it. So, um, you know, for me, I want to make sure that when my people um, come through and they're um, – Participating in anything that I do, that they get um, they get to enjoy what it is that I bring to them. That it's in a fun and safe environment, you know. So, um, you know, I don't understand why people don't take the time out, you know, to really look at what it is that they're doing and how um, they can make an impact. Because what we're doing right now is is ass backwards. It's not making any sense. So we got to be really smart. Um, we got to be really diligent. And we got to be able to take things to the next level. And we're not doing that. We're, we're, we're catching ourselves off guard on, on, on some dumb stuff. Um, thanks, Darthea, for sharing the video. I do appreciate that very much. Thanks for everybody who's uh, sharing the video. If I don't see your comments, it's probably because, well, Facebook wants to act a fool sometimes. And they don't, uh, you know, uh, they don't let you do um, anything right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it's always a hustle, man, when it comes to, um, getting, giving people this information and making sure that they get it. So, uh, hopefully you're able to see me. Um, hopefully you're able to comment. Um, cause I'm not really seeing a whole lot of comments. I'm seeing a lot of people join, but you know, sometimes the video acts a little crazy. So, you know, you get stuck doing that. Be deeply rooted. Thanks so much for being here. Um, one thing that I want to do is let you guys know that you can always, um, get with me for a free, um, discovery call. Um, all you need to do is go to, um, my link which is um, calendly.com forward slash bully, calendly.com forward slash bully. And you can sign up for a, uh, a free discovery call. We spend about 30 minutes talking about, you know, what your business goals are, what you're looking to do. And then I find a way to help you quit your job if you're still working at that's working on that slave ship, because that to me is the corniest thing ever in the history of ever. I don't know why people do it, but they do. And it's just, um, you know, it, it's a pain in the neck. Because you don't like your job. Can we just be funky with it? You don't like your job. I know I don't like a job. Hey, you got my first super heart. Thank you, Deborah Coretta Green. Keep them super hearts coming because, um, again, I got to pay these tuitions. Um, so, yeah, man, like, we got to be honest, man. Like, why aren't we honest with ourselves about that? We don't like working for other people. If we like working for other people, then people wouldn't be talking about... <sighs> I am working so hard. Um, so, uh, uh, Louise Bates said, I just received your book. I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, I, I imagine you're speaking about uh, Pitch, Close, Up, Sell, Repeat. I have like seven, eight, nine, ten books, something out like that. Um, my last uh, six books uh, hit the bestsellers list. Sorry, I had to turn that air on. You know, it gets hot up in here. But yeah, Pitch, Close, Up, Sell, Repeat, man. I wrote that book so that people would be able to... Um, have some sales techniques because people have a hate relationship with sales, but they love to buy. So what I wanted to do was kind of take the, the, the mystery and the guesswork out of all that and um, help you get your situation together because that in and of itself is important to you. 
it ain't about me. It's about you and making sure that you have exactly what it is that you need. Uh, Riss Brazy7, thanks so much for being here. Make sure you share the video if you haven't done that already. Um, what I want to do is see how I can best serve you, see how I can best help you. Um, but yeah, man, I'm sick and tired, man, of, of watching people struggle and suffer over some dumb stuff, you know? Um, hey man, Z, what's up, Tony Moore? Thanks for being here. If you haven't shared the video, make sure you share the video. Um, I want to really, you know, kind of deep dive into, you know, what's going on out here. What up to the hype man, hype man, Rick, man, the incredibly disappearing hype man, Rick. I see you homeboy. Thanks for being here, partner. Um, hope y'all are, um, enjoying this eclipse, but y'all being safe, but y'all are eclipsing your, your greatness with mediocrity because you're scared or you don't know, or you don't know what it is that you don't know. Or you do know what it is that you don't know and you still won't get help. Those are the worst ones. And that really like breaks my heart because I'm like, what is it you're waiting on? Like, who are you looking for? You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep talking about, oh, you know what? I really want a cake, but you got eggs, you got flour, you got sugar, you got shortening, you got uh, flavoring, you got um, vanilla extract, you got chocolates, you got the, the, the pans, the, the, the bowls, the mixer, and you got the oven. They're all fully functional, but you're talking about you want a cake. You're going to open a fridge and magically a cake's going to appear. That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. You know, so you got to be prepared, you know, to do some things that are completely uncomfortable. And I think a big problem is we don't we don't really spend time um, doing things, um, you know, um, where they're uncomfortable because we don't like the idea of discomfort. We just don't. And it's, it's a sin and a shame, but we, we got to get past that. And we got to be willing to, uh, we got to be willing to, um, you know, take things to the next level. I don't know why people, um, you know, don't do that. You know, hey, uh, Tony, thanks for sharing the video. I do appreciate that. Um, Josh, thanks for being here. Um, so, yeah, man, like I, I want to be able to answer questions. I want to be able to, um, you know, help where I can. Um, again, you can always, um, you know, go to calendly.com forward slash bully and set up your free um you know, your free discovery call, because I want to be able to help you figure out what it is you need to do to take things to the next level. Um, you know, I'm excited for people, you know, who quit their jobs. I have people all the time sending me emails. Hey, Mr. Anderson, I quit my job. You know, thanks for the encouragement. And my whole thing is, look, I'm, I'm just here to let you know, you know, and, and OK, let me let me let me tell you all something. I went to a meeting on Saturday and I'll, I'll show up at a business owners meeting or a uh a convention or I'll show up at, you know, just a gathering, a breakfast or whatever, you know, just to see what's happening, especially when, you, when it comes to talking to business owners, because I don't know everything, but I like to meet new people, like to see what, you know, problems people have. You know, I'm in a lot of uh, interesting organizations and, and powerful uh, people like to, um, you know, see what's going on, you know, and I like to be around that. I like to know, I like to be where the people are. I'm like the little mermaid. You know, I want to know. So what winds up happening is I go and folks are talking about, oh, well, you know, I spend this much on that and I spend that much on this. And I'm like, and none of that's making you any money. Nobody cares about your weaves. Nobody cares about your eyelashes. How's that going to help me as a business owner improve? You know, we get caught up in dumb stuff that isn't going to make us money. And because of that, we lose out on the opportunity to grow and to, to collaborate because we're turning people off by talking about things that do not matter. You know, um, I want to know how I can quit my job. That That's a question that if I'm a, a person who is trying to uh, start or, or build or grow a business that I want to know, like, I don't want to know um, all this other stuff. Hey, Michelle, thanks for being here. Make sure you share the video. Little Brad, what's up? Around Sword, thanks for being here. Share the video. Um, what's up, Judy? Thanks so much for being here and sharing the video. If you have not shared the video, please feel free to share the video. I do appreciate it because sharing is caring and it will be fun, people. It'll be so much fun. You'll love it. Um, also, um, I know what it is to struggle. There was this one lady and she was there and I literally laid out a million dollar business plan for her in about 30 seconds. Um, how, because it's not that easy. I understand the, um, she, she, um, she basically wants to have, um, a dialysis clinic and she knows everything there is about the dialysis process, how to run a clinic, so on and so forth. Cause well, she's a nurse and she, you know, she was dope with her information, you know, and I basically broke down how she could charge other, um, 
other dialysis clinics that don't have her level of expertise or knowledge. And I basically gave her a structure and I said, you should do this for this much, that for this much, and this for that much. And then you break it down like this. You visit them like this. It costs this much for you to stay there for this long and fix everything, show them where the holes are, give them the uh, itemized report, videos, the whole nine, blah, 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 blah. I said, within three months, if you do exactly what I'm telling you to do, you have enough to buy five, uh, five damn clinics can keep it pushing. But you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. And that's what coaches do. You know, and as a business coach and, and best-selling author and speaker, you know, that's what I do. Oh, I almost forgot. North Carolina, I am coming your way. Um, let me get these dates up because I know I need to let y'all know uh, when I'm coming because I'm going to be all over North Carolina. Um, coming up very, very sh shortly. Let's see here. Um, I got to pull the dates up because, well, I'm not just sitting around. Um, looking at my own calendar, memorizing my dates. I, I need to get better with that. But I, everybody I talk to, be like, yeah, what's it in my end? You know, like we all do this thing where we don't <laughs> always know where we're, you know, exactly when or where we're going to be. I know I'm going to be in Raleigh. I know I'm going to be in Greensboro. And I know I'm going to be in Fayetteville. Um, so I do appreciate, um, I do appreciate, uh, you know, being able to, to, to meet folks and see folks and, 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 and do all that good stuff. So Josh, thanks so much for sharing the video. I do appreciate that. Um, shout out to everybody. Shout out to my man, Trevor Otts too, man. We're going to uh, be doing some big things with his, uh, black CEO morning show. So I'm looking forward to, uh, you know, helping out with that. Cause that's, that's going to be super fun. Um, let me see here. Let me pull these dates up for you. Cause I know you're like, well, when, when are you coming? When are you coming? All right. So let's see here. I got to pull it up almost there. Um, mm, do, 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 do. Hey man, this is live. I'm look, I'm gonna do what I got to do. Let y'all know. I ain't even trying to be funny, but I ain't gonna sit here and act like I know because I don't be knowing. Um, let's see. Okay, here we go. Boom. So trying to pull up the dates for you. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. So let's see. Got that. Got that, got that. So we are going to see where all these dates are. All right, so I will be North Carolina. Let's see here. This is Greensboro, North Carolina. I will be there August 28th. Um, August 28th, if you go to Eventbrite, you can find it. Um, I'll be at the Foundry um, on Spring Garden Street in Greensboro, August 28th. Um, showtime is 1130. It's going to be a lunch and learn. Um, the topic is how to build a six-figure power brand, um, something I know a little something about that. So uh, I'm going to be really happy to be um, delivering that there. Uh, so that's Greensboro. Um, again, that is uh, the Foundry, 433 Spring Garden Street. I will be there um, then. And then I'm also going to be on the 29th. I am going to be, I believe this is Fayetteville, North Carolina. Um, yep, Fayetteville. I'm going to be at Troy University um, in the uh, Utah Plaza. Um, Dwight Brown is hosting me out there. I'm doing another six-figure power brand uh, event, and I think that's going to happen. Um, yep, that's on the 29th, I think that is. So let's see here. And then the last one is going to be um, Raleigh. So let's let's check out Raleigh. Um, I am going to be in Raleigh, waiting for the computer to pop. Okay, there we go. Um, this is about podcasting, YouTubing, and and, and having a best selling book. Um, this is going to be at uh, it's also about Triangle uh, Entrepreneur Leadership. Um, and I think this one is in Garner, which is just outside of Raleigh. So I will be there uh, Monday, August 28th in the evening. So um, so Fayetteville, Raleigh, and Greensboro, I'm coming your way. So make sure that um, if you're in the area or you have friends in North Carolina that you um, – you know, let them know to come through. Um, I'll be posting this information on businessbullyshow.com as well so that you can get all of the links um, because it's going to be a great time. I hope that you guys um, are able to come through and really enjoy yourselves. It's going to be a fun, fun time. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Uh, any dates in the Midwest upcoming? Um, as soon as somebody books me, um, Louise, I definitely want to come out to the Midwest. I love the Midwest. Uh, I've been trying to work out some stuff with Detroit and St. Louis, but um, the promoters have been slow about uh, making some things happen. I'm also supposed to be heading out to Nashville, Tennessee, which is more south than it is Midwest. Um, but you know, I'm definitely trying to get, I'm definitely trying to get it, uh, get it popping. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, 
if you know any promoters, anybody who wants to, um, you know, book me to come out to speak, help you guys um, develop your power brands, um, work on anything like that, get some one-on-one -on -one time, let's take pictures, bust it up, uh, sign books, all that good stuff. Um, you can always email me directly, dave at businessbullyshow.com, dave at businessbullyshow.com, or you can, uh, you can call my office, 929-35-BRAND, 929-35-BRAND. Um, that's the office number. So you can always call and reach out and set up, um, you know, set up any type of bookings and things of that nature. I'm always about that. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. I um, want to make sure that I didn't miss nothing here. Where were people at? Well, this good stuff. And, um, yeah, man, I'm excited. Like, I think, you know, there's nothing better, you know, at least for me in, in the way that I operate than to, uh, than to be able to do something. Um, let's see, Tony Moore said, wow, I just set up something similar for the business advisory plan. Oh, um, okay, cool. That, that sounds good. Um, Judy Carrasco, what's going on? What's popping with you? I want to see, uh, I'm trying to see all the comments. So I opened up like another, uh, another window, but you know how that goes. What's up, Dustin? I see you, buddy. You know, like technology is a pain in the ass. Like sometimes I just really just want to be able to look at the damn comments and keep it pushing. I can see everybody who joined on the actual page where I'm, I'm hosting the video. But then when it's time for me to actually um, look at comments, I got to refresh. Uh, I got to refresh another page and then mute the damn thing. Like it's always some drama. Like why can't I just have like why why won't the Internet let me be great sometimes? Like I just want to be great. Um. So, yeah, I want to kind of see, you know, what questions you have. Um, see what's going on, see what I can do for you, all that kind of good stuff, because it's, um, you know, it's important. Like I want to be able to, uh, as much as I possibly can, um, be a resource for you because, kind of uh, cause it's, it's hectic out here. You know, it really is hectic out here trying to get things to, um, to another level. And when you don't have the support in place, it can be just, you know, detrimental and hard to, um, really figure out and navigate on your own. Um, so yeah, man, you know, I, I see a lot of folks doing a lot of things and most of them, you know, just don't make sense. Um, also, um, can I just be a hundred percent honest with y'all? You know, if it's okay for me to be honest, just let me know. Well, I don't care. Don't be honest any damn way. Um, can we stop with the pissing contest? Can, can we really stop with the pissing contest? Like, it's okay if somebody gets to the finish line, whatever that is for you first. It's okay if somebody makes a dollar more than you do. It's okay if somebody drives a nicer car than you do. None of that should deter you um, from what it is you're doing because, honestly speaking, um, you shouldn't be looking at what anybody else is doing any damn way. I mean, that's just how I see it. Um, what I also see a lot of times are people making a bunch of excuses for why they can't be great or what it is that they, um, you know, I can't accomplish. It's always somebody else's fault. You know, my whole thing is it, it's, it, it, it's, it's your fault. You know, um, also, I'm just going gonna, gonna to be 100 percent honest. I am sick and tired of people asking me to coach them. And then, you know, when it comes time um, to cut the check, there's always an excuse. There's always some nonsense, which is why, you know, my rates are set up the way that they are, because I don't have time to be dealing with that. And that's not fair to me. And it's not fair to people who actually um, appreciate what I do and understand that there's a value associated with it. Um, it is um, unbelievable, you know, um, why people will spend an asshole of money on everything but when it comes time to investing in their business, which is something that is, um, you know, uh, an amazing thing. Um, they won't, you know, uh, but yeah, man, I, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be starting to do, and this is one of these shows where I'm just wanted to come on here and just bust it up with you a little bit. I'm going to be doing a lot more short form shows so I get more content out to you. But all I'm saying to you is you need to stop eclipsing yourself from your greatness because your mediocrity is easier to, to, to handle. You know what I mean? Like I really want y'all to start looking at, you know, what it is that you're doing. Um, so yeah, that's uh that's all I got. I just wanted to bust it up with y'all real quick. Uh, I hope that y'all um, enjoyed having me on here. I enjoyed being with you. And um, as always, you can always reach me. Matter of fact, I'm going to put, um, I'm gonna put a link up here. So y'all can schedule and I'm going to pin this link up for you, um, you know, so that you can, um, it's calendly.com forward slash bully so that you can schedule your discovery call and we can uh, we can make some things happen. So definitely looking forward to that. 
And um, I look forward to speaking to y'all soon. Um, hit me up. As always, get out of your feelings and into your business. I'm going to check y'all out later on the Business Bully Podcast. Peace.